Hey, what's up? Just doing a quick little video on the pressure washing setup. I just got the hose reels put on and I got the big buffer tank on. Uh, so here's the two hose reels. Put some uh, two inch, uh, what's it called? Angle, just piece of two inch, by, so it's two inch by two inch uh, metal angles. Put two of them, one here, one there, for these two hose reels. Uh, here's the buffer tank. Uh, so for the that 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 hose reel is for the for the SH line, the soft wash hose, and this hose reel is for the water that's coming in. And what I did here is I uh, put a hose going to the top of the buffer tank. In here, there's a Hudson float valve, by the way. So if it uh, so it doesn't overfill and spill everywhere and right here I got a two-way uh, splitter one that goes down to the Hudson float valve into, inside the tank and another one so I can uh, fill up those uh, batch tanks so when I when I do a uh, soft wash uh, over here got the toolbox on the black toolbox on that side some SH and other chem little two toolboxes hoses now make more more the most important thing here is the pressure washer and the buffer tank connection i've been trying it out recently uh and let me go inside for a better view yeah i've been trying it out recently and uh i've had okay results i might just end up uh putting on a 12 volt pump so it can uh, force feed it but it, it like sucks it sucks the water okay i don't know if it's like perfect or something but uh i'll show y'all like what happens when i uh, do start it i usually when i usually when i've been uh just straight up connecting it like this straight up to the buffer tank basically gravity feeding it uh i've had this little uh i've had this little thing where i uh where the when I open up, I, I do have a ball valve, right? I open up the ball valve first. I uh, I start the machine on half throttle and wait for it to suck and like fill all the pressure line with water. And then after everything's filled up, there's a consistent flow on the ball valve. Uh, I uh, pump it up to to full speed and uh. Yeah, it, it sucks water good, but the thing is, uh, sometimes when I let out the ball valve, like, full flow, there's, like, inconsistent, like, uh, inconsistent water flow. Like, there's good water flow, but it's just inconsistent. I feel like there's, like, air still in it. But let me just open up the buffer tank just so y'all can see how much, uh, y'all can see how much, uh, it got blurry for a second. Let's see. There we go. I'm just open it up so you can see how much flow we got. It's currently filled up to like right here. That's about, let's see, four, two, maybe like, uh, these measurements are in liters by the way. So a little over like maybe, I'd say 250, maybe 220 liters. Just open this bad boy. And that's how much flow this is coming out, just gravity, but for the inlet port on the pressure washer, that's about how much. It's a little bit hard to position this. And that's all on gravity being filled all the way up to here. I have had it all the way up to four, by the way. Um, I, I tried it for like like half an hour here today. So yeah, that's the flow coming out. That's where we go right here. Let me just connect this real quick. So I have started it today for like five minutes earlier because I'm washing the 
the work truck over there. But let me start it again today. So what I usually do, take my ball valve at the end, open it all the way. Oh no, that's closed, never mind. It was open. Okay, open it all the way. Turn the on button. Choke it. But it's a little warm right now. I ran it for like five minutes, so yeah, usually choke it, but for this one, no. Right now it's at full throttle. Here, right now it's at lowest throttle, so right here, somewhere in the middle. And take a pull. Wait, okay. Did I turn the water on? Oops, I forgot to turn the water on. That can't be good. Okay, let's try that again. Half the off, just take a little pull. Oopsies. There we go. That's that half throttle, let me put it on the full throttle real quick.
seems that the pressure washer sucks water really good. Uh, but I don't know if that'll like damage the pump since uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure these. Uh, I'm not sure about this exact model right here that on my pump. But let me focus real quick. 67DX39G1. I think that's an L or a capital I. I can't tell. Uh, so, but yeah, I don't know if this cat pump is like made to do this. I've looked in the manual and it says nothing about like uh, like the the water inlet or like. I, I don't think I saw anything that said, oh, you can uh, gravity feed it or that you, or anything like that in the manual. But if anybody else has this exact same pump and knows if you can uh, run it off, you can gravity feed it off buffer tank, please let me know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I've been using it. I've been trying it out uh, with this buffer tank for like, a couple times uh, good, okay results uh, not sure if I it'd be better to put a 12 volt pump in between there in between the buffer tank and the pressure washer and to feed the pressure to force feed the pressure washer or just run straight uh, straight from that straight from the home to the pressure washer uh, Let's see, what else can I go over here? Yeah, I think that's it. It's my pressure washing build for right now. Uh, I got the toolbox and everything, buffer tanks, chem tanks. I got a pump in there to, I got a 12 volt, four, nine, four gallon a minute pump in there for, uh, for uh, the soft wash batch mixing tanks. Hose goes in there, sucks it in through the pump, comes out over here into this hose reel. Yeah. Well, these bad boys on. We painted them and everything. Got a 20 inch surface cleaner. What I am thinking of doing is uh, maybe just keep on uh, feeding it from the from the houses. I mean, like if I do a pressure washing job, I'll just keep on feeding uh, the water coming into the pressure washer from uh, from the house. I mean, it's gonna go through here through this hose reel, come out here, and I'm up. I might put a three-way splitter in instead of this two-way. That way, I got one for the buffer tank. If I uh, do need to transport water or uh you know one for the chem tanks and then one for the i mean another another one for the pressure washer so yeah, yeah one for the buffer tank one for the chem tank to fill them up and one for the to pressure feed the pressure washer force feed the pressure washer yeah Still need to get that uh, a hose reel for my uh, pressure line, but yeah, that can wait. Uh, I mean, at least for me, it can wait. I don't really mind uh, rolling up and rolling down the pre the pressure line, especially if I only need a uh, hundred feet for driveway. Sometimes I, I prefer only only using a hundred feet because if I uh, put three hundred feet on a hose reel then uh, I'm pretty sure I might get some uh, pressure loss or like less GPMs from the hose dragging the water down. So yeah, if anybody wants to put some, uh, have some questions or uh, wants to put their input on what they did on what works for them, uh, that'd be great. Y'all can, can put that in the comments and uh, yeah, subscribe below, put a like down on the video. Uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoy.